Hi, and welcome to Reports. Here's where we're going. What is a report? What are the main parts of report? What are the different types of reports? How do I write a basic report? Report. Reports are documents designed to record and convey information to the reader. Reports are part of any business or organization. They serve to document specific information for specific audiences, goals, or functions. Here are 18 different types of reports. A laboratory report communicates the procedures and results of laboratory activities. A research report studies problems scientifically by developing hypotheses, collecting data, analyzing data, and indicating findings or conclusions. A field study report describes one-time events such as trips, conferences, seminars, or industrial and manufacturing plants. A progress report is used to monitor and control production, sales, shipping, service, and related business processes. A technical report communicates process and product from a technical perspective. A financial report communicates status and trends from a finance perspective. A case study represents, analyzes, and presents lessons learned from a specific case or example. A needs assessment report assesses the need for a service or product. A comparative advantage report discusses competing products or services with an analysis of relative advantages and disadvantages. A feasibility report analyzes problems and predicts whether current solutions or alternatives will be practical will be advisable or will produce the desired outcomes. An instructional report communicates step-by-step -step instructions on the use of a product or service. A compliance report documents and indicates the extent to which a product or service is within established compliance parameters or standards. A cost-benefit analysis report communicates the cost and benefits of products or services. A decision report makes recommendations to management and may become a tool to solve problems and make decisions. In a benchmark report, you would establish criteria and evaluate alternatives by measuring against the established benchmark criteria. An examination report reports or records data obtained from an examination of an item or conditions, including accidents and natural disasters. A physical description report describes the physical characteristics of a machine a device, or an object. And finally, a literature review presents summaries of the information available on a given subject. So how are reports organized? Reports are organized by answering these questions. Whom the report is about and or prepared for? What was done? What problems were addressed? and the results, including conclusions and or recommendations. When and where the study occurred, why the report was written, in other words, the function, including under what authority, for what reason, and by whose request, and how the subject operated, functioned, or was used.
This is famous IBMer Thomas J. Watson. He argued thought has been the father of every advance since time began. I didn't think has cost the world millions of dollars. Thomas J. Watson is one of the fathers of the business intelligence movement that has argued for the creation of the kind of documents we're discussing today. Ten common elements of a report. Cover. Cover includes title and image. Like the cover of a book, sometimes a picture, image, or logo is featured to introduce the topic to the reader. Title fly. It includes the title only. This page is optional depending on context. Title page. Label, report, features title, author, affiliation, date, and sometimes for whom the report was prepared. Table of contents. This is a list of the main parts of the report and the respective page numbers. Abstract. An informational abstract might highlight the topic, methods, data, and results. A descriptive abstract might include all of the above without statements of conclusion or recommendations. Introduction. This introduces the topic of the report. The body. The key elements of the body include background, methodology, results, and analysis and recommendations. Conclusion. This is a concise presentation of findings. This portion clearly indicates the main results and their relation to recommended action or outcome. References. This is your bibliography or works cited. This part contains a list of citations. Appendix. This includes related supporting materials. This may include maps, analysis of soil samples, and field reports. 14 item report checklist. Report considers the audience's needs. Format follows function of report. Format reflects institutional norms and expectations. Information is accurate, complete, and documented. Information is easy to read. Terms are clearly defined. Figures, tables, and art support written content. Figures, table, and art are clear and correctly labeled. Figures, tables, and art are easily understood without text support. Words are easy to read. For example, font, arrangement, and organization. Results are clear and concise. Recommendations are reasonable and well supported. Report represents your best effort. Report speaks for itself without your clarification or explanation. So to review, informational analytical reports require organization and a clear purpose.